What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about one quality of life change that I would like to see kind of come to Red Dead Online. Uh, now that Blood Money is going to be out here in a few days, I know a lot of people are looking to you know hop in and play Red Dead Online. Um, some people may be coming back to the game they haven't played in a while. And, of course, I, I'm disappointed a lot of times, as you guys know, in some update videos that I do, that Rockstar really doesn't bring enough content to the game. I, I feel like, the, you know, the... That people saying, oh, it's like GTA Online, you know, they're just taking their time before they really fill the game with content. But, you know, it, we're looking at a game that's been almost out for three years now, uh, and there's still not enough content to keep some people playing Red Dead Online. There is enough content to keep some people playing. Kind of, kind of, uh, I guess, a mixed bag when it comes to the community in general about content. But if the Blood Money update kind of pans out to where people really enjoy the, you know, the robbery idea and things like that being added in. And they continue on this trend and keep doing updates that the community enjoys. I think we're going to end up getting more horses and saddles. I'm sure most of you can agree on that. We even got a new saddle, which is a really good saddle, actually, if you don't have it with the uh, bounty hunter update. You know, we got more levels to the bounty hunter. So, in my opinion, one quality of life change that we need is more horse stable slots and uh, more saddle storage slots. Uh, if you're like myself, you may have a couple of the same saddle. I have several uh, Nakadoche saddles. Uh, depending on the horse I use, uh, just different color, you know, different color ways and things like that. But overall, it's kind of bad, in my opinion, when you buy saddles or you buy horses and you end up having to delete them. You can't even sell them back. Now, if there was an option to sell uh, these horses or, or, or saddles back, I know they wouldn't do it for gold, so it would probably have to be for cash in game. But if they would give us an option to sell these back for a cheaper price, I wouldn't be too upset with that. But as it stands right now, if you want to buy a new horse, if you want to buy a new saddle, uh, if they add new horses and saddles in eventually, and, you like, and you're like myself, and I've played the game since the beta, don't play all the time, but I do play a good bit. Uh, I've played a good bit over the years uh, and still play off and on now. Um, it, it's it's just kind of frustrating to, that you've bought all this stuff. You've spent money. you spent gold or you spent cash in game. And you have to turn around and just delete them, just disregard them completely. So I think there needs to be more storage spots for horses, more storage spots for saddles. I don't think you really should be forced to get rid of things that you've spent money on. You've, you've kind of grinded out your time. Unless, like I said, there's some kind of option that they would give us to sell these saddles or sell these horses back to the game. Um, there's different ways they could do this, of course. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Would you like to see more saddle slots, more uh, stable slots for your horses so you can own more things? Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.